we are on to the last unit of this semester, which is the urinary system. So this is a way of regulating um, blood volume, fluid volume in the body, as well as electrolytes, acid base, um, lots of important homeostatic variables. So it's primarily the kidneys that are gonna do this. So we'll start this week by talking about some basics of fluid and electrolyte regulation, then dive into the kidney, talk about the structures of the kidney, nephrons are the most important part of the kidney. We'll start with the first step of what the nephron does, which is to filter the blood. Next week, we will talk about the other two steps, which are reabsorption and secretion. So we're gonna regulate what the kidneys decide to keep in the body versus excrete out. This kind of material is going to require a lot of integration of what you hopefully already know. So the concepts of filtration um, that we looked at within a capillary versus reabsorption, and then membrane transport. So what allows things to be transported across the membrane or not, what different proteins are necessary, osmotic gradients, concentration gradients, and then regulation of all this. So endocrine regulation, and then the kidneys also play a role in regulating blood volume. We've seen that already with regulation of blood pressure, long-term regulation of blood pressure by the kidneys. So we get to talk about that again. One of my favorite things, and hopefully it'll make even more sense now, we'll look even more closely at what antidiuretic hormone and aldosterone do. So that's these next two weeks. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. <laughs>